The United States is ranked 47th in the world for maternal mortality. Obstetric hemorrhage is the leading cause of maternal mortality in the United States, and 54 to 93 percent of these deaths are likely to have been prevented. Obstetric hemorrhage-related mortality is only the tip of the iceberg, since research shows that about 125,000 women every year in the United States will suffer from an obstetric hemorrhage, 2.9 percent of all births. A leading cause of preventable maternal mortality and morbidity is failure to recognize or late recognition of excessive blood loss during childbirth. Women die from postpartum hemorrhage because they do not receive early initiation of effective interventions. The most accurate way to recognize the amount of blood loss is by direct measurement and cumulative quantification. How do you quantify blood loss? Weigh blood-soaked items such as peri pads and lap sponges. Measure using calibrated devices such as underbuttock drapes and containers. First, let's talk about weighing blood loss. To establish the amount of blood loss, place the blood-soaked items on a scale. Subtract the dry weight from the blood-soaked weight to determine the volume of blood loss. As a general rule, one milliliter of blood weighs approximately one gram. For example, if the dry weight of an item is 40 grams, and this item weighs 140 grams when saturated, then 140 gram wet weight minus 40 gram dry weight equals 100 milliliter blood loss. Make sure you weigh all blood-soaked materials and clots. Now let's talk about measuring blood loss using containers. Measure using graduated or calibrated suction containers and under buttock drapes with calibrated pouches. Remember to subtract other fluids such as amniotic fluid or urine. For example, the under buttocks drape equals 750 milliliters minus 250 milliliters irrigation equals 500 milliliters blood. However, it isn't always this straightforward since it's hard to know how much urine or amniotic fluid are in an under buttocks drape. One strategy that helps more precisely measure actual blood loss is to document the amount of fluid collected in an under buttocks drape prior to delivery of the placenta, since most of the fluid collected prior to delivery of the placenta isn't blood, and most of the fluid collected after the placenta is blood. Be sure cumulative blood loss is documented by keeping a running total. Women are the cornerstone of a healthy and prosperous world. We must act now to eliminate preventable deaths and injuries. Quantification of blood loss at every birth will help save women's lives. For more information on A1's Postpartum Hemorrhage Project, please visit www.pphproject.org. To download A1's summary of the research on quantification of blood loss and to access the practice brief with tips and references, go to www.pphproject.org resources.asp.